So let us move to our diagram here. Now router one. Any IGP you can run. So or simply you can just use any of the IGP. So I'm going to use uh, OSPF advertising all the LAN and WAN interfaces and make sure that you also advertise the loopback interface which you are using for neighborship. So don't forget that. And, and don't think that only loopback has to be advertised. Again, you have to advertise the connector interface also. But by default in your production networks, you have already running some IGP. And in that IGP, you just need to advertise the loopback IP, whatever we are using for BGP neighborship. So that is the only thing we need to do. So let me do this on the router one. On the router one, I'm going to run OSPF1 network, 10 dot network. So this these things are already present by default in the production network so we don't need to worry about that so here I'm just configuring ev everything here 10 dot network 4 dot network which is my WAN interface two WAN interfaces and one LAN interface and then this imp this point is important we need to advertise our loopback interface because the router 1 router 2 loopbacks should be able to reach each other then only they can establish the neighborship now they reach via OSPF so OSPF will tell how to reach so which means even though they are running uh, BGP they relies on IGP so I'm going to say network 20 dot network and slash 20 slash 8 actually so I'm going to say area 0 and then van interface 2 dot network and 1 dot network and then I need to advertise my loopback interface 12.000 255255255 area 0 done the same thing I'm going to do on the router 3 as well sorry I need to uh, uh, configure OSPF network 30 dot network which is in my LAN area 0 and then I need to advertise a 3 dot network which is my WAN interface on the router 3 and two dot network and network 13 dot network because I'm also advertising my 13 because I'm going to configure the neighborship based on that loopbacks and why we are using loopbacks because loopbacks interfaces will never go down so we can have a maximum chances of the neighborship is always up So router OSP of one and the network I'm going to say 40 dot network in my LAN and then 4 dot network in the van and 3 dot network and then finally advertising my low back interface which I'm using for my neighborship. Now if you verify, you can see the neighborship comes up, show IP route OSPF or simply show IP route. Now in my routing table, I have the information of 12.001, which I'm using for forming the neighborship, 13.001, which I'm using for forming the neighborship, and 14.001, I should see 14 as well. So I'm expecting 14. You can see now 14 dot network 14 dot 001. Okay, so now BGP relies on again OSPF in our case or any other IGP protocol for knowing the neighbor which is not directly connected because in the previous case we have configured the neighborship by using directly connected interface which is 1.1.1.2. Now in our scenario we need to we are going to use loopback which is not directly connected so the router one should know about that loopback via IGP. So now if I verify 12.001 or you can say show IP BGP summary and if I verify 12.001 and if I verify 13.001 and if I verify 14.001 I'm still able now I'm able to access those neighbors which means now the router one knows where exactly your router 12.001 is present so it is going to send open send message and then it is going to reply the open reply message or open confirm messages so once we see the neighbor so whenever you realize any problem with the neighborship the first step we need to check the configurations which we did just like we need to verify 
these three things maybe the wrong address or the other end of the router is not configured or maybe in misconfigurations and then you can directly jump to this one try to ping to the neighbor address if you're not able to ping which means the router no don't know where is that neighbor because it is not directly connected so you should have some uh, IGP information in, into your routing table to reach that network so they're able to access but if I verify show IBBGB summary still still I have some problem neighborship is not up it is still showing as active so actually I have one more problem here so the first problem remember always whenever you are doing any configurations with loopbacks so we need to make sure that loopback must be reachable whatever the IP you are using for forming the neighborship that IP must be reachable the reachability to that IP must be there now the second thing is the problem with the source the next thing we need to know is we should know the next problem the problem is with the source so there's one more problem here now we try to do the basic configuration just like same here we have seen some active message and then we try to troubleshoot we verified all these configurations and we realized that that neighbor is not reachable and we then we configured OSPF where we also advertise the loopback interfaces and now if you verify again it is showing active so we are up to here now up to here we finished our lab now make sure that there is a connectivity between the neighbors now you can see the neighborship is up now there is one more problem here and the problem is the problem is with the source address let me explain you what is the problem here now as per our configurations what we did just now router 1 is forming the neighborship with router 2 with which address 12.001 and router 1 forming the neighborship with router 3 with which address 13.001 and router 1 is forming the neighborship with router 4 via 14.001 so similar way router 2 also do the same thing right now what it will do is now by default whenever you configure a neighbor command so I said neighbor 12.001 and remote AS in our example it is 500 so router 1 is going to send open send message so we call it as open send message saying that hello router 2 you are my neighbor so it is going to say am and by default what is the address of the router 1 router 1 address will be this address so it says am 1.1.1.1 and I'm your neighbor I'm the neighbor of 12.001 which is router 2 so I'm your neighbor so now what router 2 is going to do is router 2 says okay you are my neighbor let me check now router 2 already have a pre-configured neighbor statements just that's what we did just now now router 2 is peering with router 1 with 11.001 .001, and router 2 is peering with or forming neighborship with router 3 and router 4 so this is router 1 router 3 router 4 so it is going to check its own neighbor statements and it is going to see this information it says 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 and the router 2 is not configured with any neighbor with 1.1.1.1 so now router 2 is going to simply reply you are not my neighbor or I don't see any information so it's not going to send the confirm messages and your neighborship will go down now the main problem here is the problem with the source address so by default the source address will be the default source address will be the exit interface address right because by default when router 1 is sending the message to router 4 router 4 it says I am 4.4.4.1 or whatever the address so generally the default address will be the source address of the exit interface now when router 1 is sending a message the source address will be this address that is your s1 by 0 address so that is not going to work here because now router 1 and 2 are not forming the neighborship with exit interfaces they are forming the neighborship with loopback interfaces so I have to make sure that when the router 1 sends a message I have to change the source address and I have to say router 1 router 1 when you go when you send a message to router 2 don't use this address instead use the loopback 0 address because we identify each other by using loopbacks and we are configured the neighborship on everyone 
by using the loopback zero addresses. So we are not forming neighborship with any other address. So this is something we need to do. So to change this, we need to add one more command. We need to say neighbor 12.001 and I need to say a command called update source loopback zero address. So whenever you add this command now, whenever a router one is going to uh, send a message to 12.001 through OSPF, it's not going to say this. It's going to say I am 11.001 because that is my loopback zero address and it says hello I am 11.001 and I'm your neighbor. Now router 2 what it says? It says it will check its own information. It says okay I have a neighbor with router 1 and it says okay you are my neighbor. It's, a, it's going to send a reply, a confirmation message and once it sends an open send message, open confirmation, now they both form the neighborship. Now two things we need to keep in mind whenever we configure the neighborship with loopbacks. Whenever you configure the neighborship with loopbacks or any other interface other than exit interface, the first thing we need to check the reachability and to provide reachability we have to advertise that loopback, whatever loopback zero inside your IGP. Now in the production networks you already have IGP running but in my lab I did not configure initially because I want you to know. That's the first thing we need to keep in mind. And the second thing is we need to change the source address to the loopback address whatever we have used and that can be done by using an update source command. So that's the reason the neighborship is not coming up here. So this is the problem here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to each and every router and I'm going to add one more command update source loopback zero. That is something I need to do here now. So let us go to router each router in my diagram. So I'm going to say router one. So already I have the configurations. I'm not going to disturb those configurations. I'm just adding some extra configurations to the previous ones. So I'm going to say router BGP 500 and I'll say neighbor 12.001 update source loopback 0. And the same thing I'll say 13.001 and then 14.00. Now you can see the neighborship comes up. Done. Now the same thing I need to do with router 2, router BGP 500. I need to say neighbor 11.001. Remote Ace is already configured, so I just need to say update source and then I need to say neighbor 11.001, 13.001 .001, and 14.001. Done. The same thing I need to do on the router 3 as well, router BGP 500, neighbor 11.001. Update source low back zero and then 12 and then 14 because 13 is my router. Done. So if you try to verify, let me finish the configurations on the router 4 as well. Router BGP 500, I need to say neighbor 11.001. Remote AC is already configured, so I'll just simply say update source low back zero. And for the router 2 neighbor and for the router 3 neighbor done. So if we try to verify the complete configurations what we did. So whenever you are forming the neighborship with any other interface other than exit interface we have we should have two commands for each neighbor. So the first command will be remote AS and the next command has to be update source. So I did not configure this initially I want you to know and one more thing we need to verify whatever the neighbor you are you should be able to ping to that neighbor. So there should be end-to-end -end reachability between the neighbor addresses, whatever we are using. And for that, we use IGP. So the last thing, will let us verify the neighborship now. You can see the neighborship messages has come up. And from each neighbor, I'm receiving one one route because I used only one network command. That is only LAN interfaces. And if I verify show IP BGP, this is BGP table. More about this, I'll discuss in our next videos. So I'll try to verify show IP route show IP BGP in neighbors and if I verify show IP route you'll see all the routes are learned by anyway OSPF because of administrative distance because you know OSPF had the administrative distance of uh, 110 and 
internal BGP will be 200. So definitely it will install the routes which are learned via OSPF. But that's okay. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll try to shut down any one of the link. Now router one is forming the neighborship with low back, so I'm going to shut down this link. Assuming that that link goes down. Now I can see still it should not affect my neighborship. You can see neighborship is still up and still I'm able to see the routes coming from router 2. It's still coming. The reason is now now what OSPF will do is now simply what happens here is router 1 says I want to form a neighborship with 12. Now first it will try to use the first route best route. If that best route fails it will use alternate route to reach this neighbor. Now if you try to verify show IP route OSPF. Now as long as this 12.001 is present in your routing table your neighborship will not go down and you can see it's going via router 4 4.4.4.1 4 as per my diagram okay it's going via router 4 that is 4.4.4.1 4 because your neighborship is down from that side sorry the interface is down so still there's no impact on the neighborship so this is one of the most common implementation of BGP where we always use loopback interfaces to form the neighborship so that we can have redundancy in the neighborship but at the same time you have to ensure that you should have the reachability to that neighborship and finally you have to make sure that you use update source command to change the source address to the loopback interface whatever we are using so it can be loopback zero or it can be anything so this is our second lab and so we are done with this lab probably we'll see some more labs in our next videos thank you